Well, what's the plan? What do you mean? You just, is that bag coming in here or no? Um, honestly, just like not really feeling it right now. Like, I'm not gonna have petty arguments. My dogs aren't petty to me, uh, so that's a petty argument for you, but not for me. Um, the last thing I want is for like this to spiral. You know, like, I feel like it's pretty, like, the energy right now, I feel like is manageable. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not feeling like, oh, I hate his guts. You know, I don't like, hate your guts by any means. Um, and I've expressed multiple times that you're a great person. I feel like I've been spiraling since the honeymoon. And I feel like every day there's something else about me that you don't like and I've made compromises over and over, whether it's horseback riding, the sailboat, the dogs. But I, I just feel like there's no compromise on your end, and it's just been over and over of things I'm doing wrong. And What we... do you mean? Because you're making it seem like I just, like, expect everything to be perfect. Like I honestly felt like that's what you expected on the honeymoon. I expected you to want to do more. I expected, like, not to have to, like, push you to do things. Like, it is mentally exhausting for me to always have to be the smiling face, the, the supporter, the one to pull things out of you that you might not want to do. Like, it is exhausting to me. I, I don't know what to say. I just feel like complete <laughs> since the honeymoon. That I ruined your time, that I'm, a, I'm some super negative I mean, you don't think that jokes. I feel bad, like, I felt quite too, so. I don't, I'm not sure why. Like, I, I didn't make a single complaint about you the entire trip. I just can't right now, like, the the negative attitude, the, the pettiness, and then, like, no apartment, and all these things just kind of combining for me. It's just like, I cannot. So yeah, sorry, no, I'm not moving in. I'm gonna go home and take a bath. So you're gonna bring all this stuff back down to your car? Yeah. I think we both need our space. So I guess we'll wait to see what Pastor Kale has to say. Yeah. Hello, hello. The man of the hour. You've got some explaining to no, do. No, I don't. Uh-uh, you got some explaining to do. Would you like a drink? Uh, no, I'm gonna pass. Okay. Thank you. How you doing? You guys are married? We are? Yeah. Okay. We are. Indeed. Yeah. <sighs> All right. You are poised for battle. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just looking at you, your posture. You are poised <laughs> for battle. Why? Because we both have some concerns. About what? He feels like there are things like on the top of his list that he asked for in a spouse that he didn't get. OK. And then I also feel the same way. What's at the top of your list that you didn't get? Like outgoing, you know, someone more positive, like more optimistic, adventurous, adventurous. you know, and like. He's not adventurous. Over the honeymoon, I kind of felt like I was like, come on. You don't take risks. No, I do take risks. But like, if we're talking adventure and, and sailing and riding horses and, you know, maybe once a month. But, you know, coming into this, I did want somebody that was somewhat more extroverted, but like not somebody so adventurous as Dom. You didn't, you didn't give us the, the measurement. To an extent, oh, I guess that's, oh. so that's up there. Um, and then Dom is a dog person. She doesn't claim that she's like not a dog person, but I have different standards and stuff for my dogs. And you know, dogs in the bed was a deal breaker for me. That can be compromised. Do your dogs have to sleep in the bed? I mean, they don't have to. 
I want you to see that some of this is absurd. This is all stuff that can be compromised when two people care about each other. Did you want marriage or did you want marriage on your terms? I mean, I, I wanted marriage, but I didn't think that I was gonna get someone that was a polar opposite of me. He is not a polar opposite to you. We're in agreement. Well, then you guys lied. Honestly, when we put you guys together, we had so much faith that this was going to be a good match. You both expressed that you wanted a certain amount of independence in your relationship. You didn't want a needy spouse. And Dominique, you need somebody who's going to be there for you, who's going to be a protector, who's going to be uh, honest with you, who's going to be faithful. You asked for an older, more mature man somebody who's going to be a, a stable person that you can build a long-term life with. And Mac, you asked for someone who is going to pull you out of your shell. And you wanted a go-getter, just like yourself, who can grow with you and somebody who can accomplish things and build a family and just enjoy life together. And we gave each of you what you asked for and what you needed. The question here is, have you guys even giving it a chance. I wanted someone who was more established, like secure in their place, where they are in life. Taking into consideration like how old he is, I expected more. And then like, you didn't want to find a place and like sign a lease, but you wanted to jump into a marriage, like. So what? People make decisions about their lives that we might not always agree with, but they have a right to make those decisions. Marriage is when two people come together and they decide, you know what, let's build a life together. We're going to make different decisions now together. I know the man ain't broke. I felt judged by the basement thing because you could have taken me to a corner in a tent and I wouldn't have been less attracted to you. And I feel like that was your takeaway from the basement thing. It's just a turn off for me. Like if you would have had four roommates, that would have been better. I would rather live in a basement than have four roommates. I don't understand, how is it Because then he would have had his bed? own space. You know what I mean? Like he would have like had I have a two place. bedrooms and a bathroom. Are you gonna let me talk, bro? Jeez Louise, I'm not talking over you. You're right, you're right. My apologies. So what, what do you want? What do you want to do? I don't know. Like, I'm honestly like I'm just kind of over it. <laughs>